Did you know that in lupus, the anti-nuclear antibody, or the ANA, can actually go negative? It's not super common, but it happens especially in patients who've been in long-term remission. And while this isn't a diagnostic game changer, it can provide reassurance to both the person living with lupus, but also to me, the rheumatologist. You see, a negative ANA in someone doing well with lupus is often a sign that their disease is under great control. This will bolster my confidence that we can safely taper medications if that's what's right for the patient. Of course, if symptoms return, repeating the ANA can give valuable clues too. So for example, if your ANA was negative while you were in remission, but then becomes positive again alongside new symptoms, that's a strong indication that your lupus has come back. Now, why is this important? Well, sometimes lupus activity is obvious and sometimes it's not. Those with lupus can also have fibromyalgia, thyroid or hormonal issues or other types of arthritis. These other conditions can have very similar symptoms to lupus and deciphering if someone is having a return of their lupus or if they are actually having symptoms from another condition, well, that can take a fine eye to determine. Seeing that the once negative ANA has now become positive can be a strong indicator that yes, in fact, this is lupus. This is why testing is never a one and done situation in autoimmune diseases. It's all about tracking patterns and making informed decisions based on the bigger picture. So if you're living with lupus and wondering how and when you should get your ANA rechecked, just remember that the ANA is simply a tool. And like any tool, it's most powerful when used in the right context. So have a great day.